again, I have returned. And this time, we are going to do the Juvia's Place April Mystery Box. Now, my thing about mystery boxes, especially with some of these, is that not really a mystery anymore because several people unbox them and I try not to look at those videos until I like open my box because like I want the element of surprise and sometimes these mystery boxes don't be mystery and they, they just don't because everybody gets the same box. Now, if that's true, I'm totally fine with this one because I love Ju Juvia's Place. Um, their makeup, their eyeshadows are crazy pigmented. Their blushes are some of my favorite. And like, they just don't, they just give what they're supposed to give when they're supposed to give all the time. So I'm totally fine with that. And if it's not, then great. I, I actually got a mystery box and I could be surprised. So let's see what we got here. See, and it's a little tiny box. So, but you're supposed to get three items. I only paid like $15, $16 for it. And it's supposed to have a value of $50. So, I mean, either way it goes. Like, no matter what comes in this box, you can't lose. Because at least one item is probably going to be retail for more than what. But sometimes they'd be getting you because this stuff be on sale. And you could probably get it cheaper. But that's neither here nor there. Let's get into the box. Alright, so on top, I have... The Eye Sculpt Eye Shade Brow Pen. And this is in the color dark brown. Now, I don't do my eyebrows. I don't. Um, so, I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of this. But it will go to use because outside of eyelashes, brows are the only other makeup item my daughter is allowed to wear outside of the house. Ooh, it's kind of juicy. I don't know how you're supposed to use this. Oh, it's kind of runny. Hold on, hold on. So, dark brown. And it looks black. But I don't know. And it's bleeding <laughs> on my hand. I don't know if you can see the bleed. Here's the tip. I don't know if that helps. But there's the tip. And it's bleeding on my hand. So, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. But that's okay. That's okay. I got to make up like this time. We're going to wipe that off. And yeah, see, even on here, it's still, oh no, it's a little brown. But it still reads a little black. So, I don't know if that's going to be useful to anybody. So, we'll see. Up next, we have the Eye Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer. Now, Juvia's Place also does not miss with their packaging. Like, the packaging is regal and, and elegant. Like, it's giving royalty. So, this I got in the color 2. Um, I don't use a lot of eye primer because I don't do a lot of, like, colorful looks. And the colorful looks that I do wear, um, the shadows I use have no pigment issues so they show up so I don't know but I saw that somebody yeah see this one is liquidy gotta shake it up I don't know what if I don't know if that's on the box yeah it says shake well before use because it's liquidy she's giving water okay yeah now I don't hear it so much but I'm not gonna swatch this because if I'm not mistaken I already have this I bought it because I thought that I needed an eye primer for my eyeshadows, but I don't. So, another sister gift. Yay! And they can tell me if they like it. So, up next, we have the receipt. No, just kidding. Um, all right. Oh, it's an eye. Okay, so you are guaranteed to get. Well, in this box, I don't know if that's every box, but every box so far that I've gotten, you get an eyeshadow palette. And this one is the Garden of Juvia's. See, Miss Anne got the same box. And I'm pretty sure that if I were to go in, on YouTube and look at everybody else who's unboxed this, they got the same box. So how is it a mystery box if 
everybody gets the same box. Like, I don't know. But that's also kind of how I'm feeling about the um, the Ipsy Boxy Charm deal because I signed up for that. And like, I know exactly what's going to come in my box and I kind of just, I don't know, it kind of just takes the fun out of it. So I don't know. I don't know if we'll keep those up. But let's get into her because she's so pretty. Super, super, super pretty. And I don't necessarily do a lot of pastel type looks, but I want to try. So we'll see if we can get it. This is not a sister gift. Putting that out there early. But let's open it. See, once again, packaging, don't miss. Let's see. Here we go. Oh my gosh. That is just gorgeous. Funny story. I have an outfit with this exact color scheme. Super cute. So this would have been perfect to wear a couple weeks ago when I wore that outfit. Okay, so we have the protective cover, no mirror, but here are the colors. Like these are so pretty. So, so, so light and just feminine and girly and springish. Let's see, what are we gonna swatch? Let's start with the marigold color because I know it's gonna give. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. It's yellow. It's yellow. That's pretty. The only other time I've ever had a yellow that showed up like that was um, the crayon case. The big box of crayons. Yes. Super be doing what she doing. Okay. I don't put that right there. Let's see. What else? Let's try one of these press splitters. Ooh, super soft. I'm trying this blossom color right here. Oh, she's shimming. So it just looks like that's just a shimmer shade. Oh, but she's shimming. She's shimming all right. Look at that. That's pretty. I probably, I don't know if I would do like a whole look, but that would be really pretty. Like a subtle inner corner. And let's go with the purple, because you know that's my favorite color. Let's do that. I think it's wet, but it's... Look, I don't know if you have tried these, but I need to some makeup wipes really quick. And the ones at King Supers or Kroger, the nighttime calming ones are my favorite. Like, they're so moist, and they just get all the makeup off. But these ones, not bad. They're not that big, but they smell like bubbles. Like bubbles, like that you blow with a little wand and you get in a little plastic. They smell like bubbles. They're supposed to be fragrance free. So, anyways. All right, so I'm going to do the Sweet Lilac. They're so soft. And I'm not a good swatcher, but that's pretty. But I'm sure you could build it up. Let's try Flower Child, which is the shimmer shade on top. Ooh. Now that, and that felt good going on my hand. Let's see, purple orchid. So it's another shimmer. That's pretty, this one right here. And let's see, do I have another finger? We'll try the pinky. And we'll go in the lilac shade. Yeah. Yep, see what I say. Juvia's Place, they don't miss on the pigment. Not even in their shimmer shades, so yeah. This is gonna be so pretty. And it's, I'll try a look. I'll try. Yeah. Yeah. I can get into that. So yes, so that was it. You have the Gardens of Juvia's um, palette, the eyebrow pen, and the eye primer. And that's supposed to all retail for $50. I will post the retail value that I find online. It's current price, not what it's supposed to be. Cause sometimes it'd be on sale and you'd be like, well, did I really get that value? But either way it goes, I only spent $15. So even if everything was $5 a piece, I still feel like I got my money's worth. So yeah, so that was it for my Juvia's Place April mystery box which really wasn't a mystery 
So I don't know if I'm going to do it again. Unless I see somebody else unbox it and their stuff is something I want to pay for. But I only want to pay $15. So it's like you can't lose. Like even if you get, even if you know what you're getting, like you're still getting $15. You're only paying $15 and you're still getting $15, $50 worth of product. So like you can't lose. So I don't know. But I'm like, I'm, I kind of like surprises. Like, okay, I like gift surprises. But like... Yeah, I don't know. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in the Juvia's Place box. If you got it, did you get the same things? Or did you get something different? At least a different shade. I don't know. We'll see. Sometimes they're starting to feel like clean out stuff, which is okay. But yeah, let's talk about it in the comments. Do you guys think mystery boxes are worth it? And are they really a mystery? So, I don't know. We'll talk. Until next time. Peace, guys.